Hello children today we will do introduction to the parliamentary system this is Priyanka Sanyal from TIGPS Siliguri in this chapter we will learn the machinery or the system of government as given in the indian constitution have you ever thought of this what is a parliamentary system of government in india we have prime minister but why there is no prime minister in the united states of america what is the difference between a parliamentary and a presidential system of government these questions would lead us to conclude that every country has a different form of government before we go ahead to understand different types of government systems let us get information about the main branches of government The function of the legislature is to make laws. Legislature is the body of the assembly. The executive implements the law and the judiciary provides justice. The functions of these organs, their jurisdictions and limitations on their power and interrelationship between these organs are decided by the constitution it is the nature of their interrelationship that determines the system of government adopted in a particular country now there are two types of government first is the parliamentary government system of government second is the presidential system of government parliamentary system of government the parliamentary system of government developed primarily in england the english constitution is an unwritten constitution the governance is carried out in accordance with traditions and customs and conventions the british parliament is an institution that has evolved over a period of time the parliamentary system of government have having its roots in the parliament is con- considered as a contribution of england india has adopted this parliamentary system we can see some broad similarities in the parliamentary system of england and the parliamentary system of india but when looked at an in institutional level the indian parliament system is different in its content we have the lok sabha and the rajya sabha let us understand the characteristics of the indian parliamentary system of government in india the parliamentary system is a system of governance The legislature of the central government is known as the parliament. The Indian parliament is composed of president, Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha. Members of the Lok Sabha are directly elected by the people. The number of members in the house is fixed. Elections to the Lok Sabha are held at regular intervals all political parties contest these elections the party which gets more than half of the seats is considered as the majority party the majority party forms the government sometimes when no party gets a clear majority some parties come together to form a majority and they can establish the government this kind of government is known as a coalition government in this way candidates directly elected by people 
become members of the legislature and the party in majority gets a chance to form the government. The leader of the majority party becomes the prime minister. He or she selects candidates from ministerial positions from among his or her colleagues. The prime minister and the council of ministers chosen by the prime minister together forms the executive in the parliamentary system of government. In the parliamentary system, the executive has a dual responsibility. Number one, as an executive, they have to implement laws. Number two, as they are the members of the legislature, they also have to fulfill responsibilities of the legislature. The Prime Minister and the Council of Ministers is responsible to the legislature for all their actions and policies. It means that the Council of Ministers has to work with the legislature. It is for this reason that the parliamentary system is known as the responsible system of government. Another distinct characteristic of parliamentary system of government is collective responsibility. Decision taken by any ministry depart or department is considered as decision of the government. The entire council of minister is responsible for the decisions. So children, I hope you have understood the video. Thank you children. Stay safe and stay well.